Hey guys, East Texas Wildman here. Uh, I'd like to do a knife review on a uh, knife that I've been using recently and I really fell in love with it. Uh, it turns out to be uh, inexpensive and a very good knife for round camp. So let me get set up and we'll get right to it. Okay, so the knife that I'm talking about today is the uh, uh, Condor Knives uh, Desert Carver. And this is one of the knives that's inspired by uh, Matt Graham. Uh, he has a series of knives with Condor Knives. And uh, this was one of them. This is not, he has one that is very much like this one, except it's a little bit longer blade. This one is the Desert Carver. And it has a three inch uh, upswept blade with a Scandi grind. Um, the technical stuff, it's uh, 1075 carbon steel. It's got a Scandi grind on it. Mine came very sharp, um, but the blade wasn't polished. I polished the blade. Uh, it has my Carter scales on it. Very comfortable in the hand. I mean, this is it's a really comfortable knife. It's really good for carving. It's really good for small tasks around camp. Um, I love this knife. I carry it with me all the time now. Um, the thing I was really disappointed in was the sheath. Uh, the functionality in it wasn't very good. So the sheath comes like this. It's got two belt holes on it. And it's supposed to be a cross draw rig. But by the time you put it on, uh, the flex, because everybody's body is a little bit round, makes it where you can't draw this knife out. So what I did was I took a knife and I cut off this top belt loop, pushed a couple of holes in it, and made a neck knife out of it. So, and I carry this all the time. It's a great little knife. It's, uh, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of experience with knives in 1075, so I didn't know. I figured, well, with the price tag, it was cheap enough. I think this knife was 40 45 bucks on Amazon um, and I just I, I thought I'd experiment with it turns out to be probably one of the best knives I've ever bought before I was skeptical about Condor because I read reviews you know so many people say they get their knives and the blades are you know there's seems to be a lot of problems with edge uh, consistency on their knives um, I didn't have any problem. I've ordered two Condor knives and both of them came to me razor sharp and uh, really finished out pretty well. Neither one of the edges was polished and I like a polished edge. If you're carving a polished edge makes, uh, makes it a smoother task and I think it helps with uh, edge retention too. I, that's just the way I feel. I have nothing that proves that. Uh, has it does have a good 90 degree spine on it, so it strikes the ferrule rod very well. Um, because it is 1075, it does uh, stain easy, and it will rust on you. So you, it's, it's a knife you do have to maintain uh, and take care of. But like I said, I carry mine with me all the time, so you know I'm always polishing up the edge or oil on it or taking care of it. So I haven't had any issues with it. Um, by far, I've spent a lot of money on knives, and I've always been under the, uh, my thinking has always been that the, the more you pay on a knife, the better the knife is going to be, only because good steel costs money. Um, good material costs more money than most production knives. You know, most production knives, material is inferior, that's why the price is down so low. But this 1075 uh, Condor, which to me is it priced at every man's, you know, the working man's budget. Man, I've, I've really, really, really been impressed by this knife. Um, I've been using it now for, I guess, four months, three months. 
and I love it. I don't go to the woods without it. I've skinned, skinned animals with it. It's a real good skinner because I think it's because of the small uh, blade profile there. Makes it a really good skinner for me. Uh, what I'm kind of used to working with in my first shop. And um, I, I clean many animals without having to sharp it, sharpen it at all. Uh, basically, after I clean one animal, I have to clean it and I'll strop it once and then go right into the next animal. So they, they work really good. Really, really been impressed with this knife. So there is two designs on the Desert Carver. This is the, the pointed one with the upswept uh, point. And then they have one that is a downswept blade. Um, which if you're looking for a carving knife specifically, may be a good choice for you or maybe both of them for different applications in carving. Um, I chose this one because I saw a lot more potential for this blade uh, besides just carving. So anyway guys this is a real quick review on this knife. Um, it's a great little camp knife kind of a all-task knife. It's great for processing animals. Um, for carving, doing your fine task, uh, whatever you want to do. This has been a great little knife for me. So it's, it's a small knife. Uh, usually when I carry this, when I'm carrying this, I also carry a large knife um, to do larger tasks with. And I'll get into a review on the larger knife that I've been using lately uh, on, on another video. But anyway, East Texas Wild Man, this is the Condor Desert Carver designed by Matt Graham. And if y'all don't know who he is, he's a dual survivor, a couple other Nat Geo shows. He's a uh, really big into primitive survival and I think he does like a lot of those long distance, you know, cross wilderness runs, you know, where they run for 100 miles or whatever. But a uh, really interesting guy. He's got a YouTube channel also and a really interesting guy uh, when it comes to the primitive, primitive side of this. So anyway, I highly recommend this knife to anybody, uh, especially those guys that like to carve or whittle around the campfire. This is a great little knife for that. Okay, East Texas Wild Man. God bless. I'll see you all later.